I had just graduated from Yale, I wanted to help give back to people. While we were in Peru, my friend and I decided to take a vacation to Colombia. We went whitewater rafting, and there was an area where you could jump off of a cliff into the water. The person in front of me just lost a boulder, and that hit me and knocked me off. When I picked up the phone, Skylar's friend on the other side said, I don't know how to tell you this, but Skylar's been in a terrible accident. The first thing I remember, my eyes were taped shut and my jaw was wired shut so I couldn't speak. So I, uh, I just had to squeeze in my mom's hand to let her know I was awake. I couldn't speak, I couldn't swallow, I couldn't feed myself. Now I can speak in complete sentences and thoughts. So the exoskeleton is basically a robot suit. I've made a lot of progress. The exo that she's working with was definitely not designed for traumatic brain injury. And yet they've given us the opportunity to achieve muscle memory that she would not have without this. The inspiration that she has now, I think really is huge with no limitations. They are pushing her to turn her impossible into her I'm possible. Tampa General has been amazing. It has become like a family for us. My grandma has a saying, it's inspiring to the sin and your yard is hard. So I kind of live by that now because little steps are still progress for